I'm sure that you are familiar with lots of different children's toys, such as toy cars, Furbies, Tamagotchis, etc. However, one toy that is slightly different is the Evil Stick. Despite the name, it looks seemingly innocent. The colors are bright, the font looks friendly, and there's a completely non-scary looking anime character on it. Plus, it says it can send out wonderful music, and it's for ages 3 and up. So what is there about this that's evil? Well, there are some pictures on it that could be considered evil to kid standards. There appears to be a zombie or something on one of them. There's a, um, thing on another one, and another thing on this one. Uh, there's some angels on this one, and another thing on this one. So it seems pretty normal so far. But of course, someone took it too far and added this. This thing gives me the creeps, so I can't even imagine what reaction it would give a three-year-old. But hey, at least it sounds out wonderful music to lighten up the mood. <laughs> Never mind. In 2014, a woman bought this toy from a dollar store in Dayton, Ohio for her daughter, and was surprised to find that behind the tinfoil, it revealed a picture of a girl cutting herself with a kitchen knife. When I first heard about this, I was a bit skeptical. I figured that maybe someone went into the store and replaced the original picture with this one just to mess with people, but supposedly this was the intended picture. Like I mentioned before, some of the wands did have some more innocent looking pictures, but I think this one went a little bit too far. The owner of the store was questioned about this, and he says that the mother should have inspected the toy for herself before giving it to her child. Whereas I agree to an extent, I sort of disagree as well. Aside from the name, there was nothing about the toy that would have hinted at it being this morbid. It's extremely misleading, especially the fact that on the packaging it says that it sounds out wonderful music. I really don't know who would define this as wonderful music. Now, here's what I think. I'm pretty sure that the picture was never actually put there by the manufacturer. Someone could have just went there with the image and replaced it just to mess with people, and here's why I think that. If you look, all the other pictures that appear on the evil stick have a picture of something that was clearly drawn, but the picture of the girl cutting herself looks like a real photo that was probably photoshopped. The style of it is completely different from all the other ones, which indicates that it could have been created by an entirely different person. It's also weird that I was only able to find two people who had that toy. One being the mother on the news, and the second person being a YouTuber named Matt Clark, who had to search through two racks of the toys and able to find one with the girl on it. Any other person I've seen with that toy had a normal image on it. And if you look on eBay and Amazon, you won't find the toy anywhere. I feel like if a lot of people did have this, then they might sell it. It just doesn't make sense why there would only be two toys with that picture on it if they were actually supposed to be there. And plus, who would actually think that such an image could actually be kid-friendly? So, my best guess is that someone thought it would be funny to tamper with the toy. One way that we could find out the answer for sure is to contact the manufacturer of the evil stick. But there's one issue with that. No one knows who manufactured it. A YouTuber named Paul Powers actually contacted the owner of the dollar store where the toy was bought and asked him about the manufacturer of the toy. The owner said that he did not know who created it, and there was absolutely nothing on the package to indicate it. All we know is that it was made in China. When the owner was questioned about where he got it, he said he got it through a random distributor over two years ago, and he wasn't able to remember their name. So with that in mind, we pretty much have nothing to go off of. But I think my theory that it was just a malevolent prankster that tampered with the toy seems very plausible. So what do you guys think? Thank you for watching, and I will see you on the flip side.